Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Brittany. I'm a licensed esthetician and a makeup artist. And today we have my April favorites. I know we are like literally mid-June. Today is Wednesday, May 15th. So we're like halfway through <laughs> May and I'm so behind on my favorites video, but better late than never, I typically say. So here are my favorites for this past month. We have a little bit of, we have some mixture of Perfume, clothing, just like random miscellaneous things. I do write down my <laughs> I do write down my favorites of the month for my bullet journal just because I like to recap on everything. And the first thing I want to talk about is my lip combination. The lip liner Mionaya by Melalopes. This is in the color Rich. And then I pair it with the House Labs PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze in the shade Guava. These two paired together are so beautiful. I already like kind of reapplied some of my lip combination just to show you the color. This has been my go-to as of lately. I've literally just keep on using this guy. It's really hydrating on the lips. Very, very comfortable for me. I absolutely love this lip combination and you can see like when it's like settled, you can see how much I've used of it, which is insane because I don't go through products, at least lip products this quickly, but this has become a very popular favorite of mine. But yeah, you can kind of see the lip combo there. Super pretty and like super, super natural on the lips. Like these two have been just that gal, you know? Another favorite that I had written down for this past month of April. I have been obsessed with this creamer. This is the Chobani Hazelnut Creamer. It's like $5 and this is... I'll show you the picture of it because I get mine at either King Supers or Sprouts. Sometimes it's usually sold out there. If not, if I'm a lucky target, but it really just depends. But that creamer has been so freaking good. I use it in the frother with my coffee and it is like the best thing ever. So if you are a coffee lover and you love hazelnut, that one is a one. I even loved it so much that I finished that whole thing. I bought two of them for the month of April, finished them quickly, and I recently went to World Market and I bought like the big ass syrup from Tarani, the hazelnut sugar-free one, so I can make my own coffees at home now instead of like buying hazelnut syrup lattes at this coffee shop near my job. So there's a fun fact. <laughs> and then the next thing I want to talk about is the audiobook that we've been listening for last month with my book club which is ice barbarians y'all i mentioned it in my last video and it was so good like the end of that the end of that audiobook like left me like i need to know what happens next so apparently there's like more series of that actual audiobook which i i think i'm gonna start slowly getting into but I'm on a no buy with books right now because I'm currently reading like five different books or four different books now because I just finished one of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Ice Barbarians was literally my favorite. I could not stop listening to it and apparently on Spotify audiobooks, once you reach a certain limit of listening to audiobooks, it like cuts you off so you have to wait. So I'm like, dude, I was so frustrated and like as soon as I got that audio timing of it, whatever, back i was like on top of it i was listening to that book like no other i finished it pretty quickly i don't really talk about podcasts i think on youtube i do listen to a lot of podcasts and the recent one that i have been really really loving a lot it's called yo quiero dinero podcast and it's about like finances and having a business and just like different things like that how to be a business owner entrepreneur it's a really, really good podcast and has helped me a lot financially and just like being more money savvy. She also has a book that just came out in April, which that is on my TBR right now. But again, I want to know by so until I finished my books that I have right now, then I will start, you know, getting a little bit more. I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm considering getting a Kindle, but we shall see. I don't know to be determined. So these little guys are heatless rollers i bought a big ass pack from tj maxx like a while ago i want to say and i really like these i use i use a pair for like each half like one half of my hair and one half of my hair so like today i did curl my hair i washed it and curled it and everything so i want to keep the curls 
as long as I possibly can without using my straightener as my curling tool. So what I do is when I go to sleep, I will part my hair in half and I will roll one half to the front, one half to the back, and I will sleep with that. And my curls do last about like a good five days after. So it's a really good way to kind of incorporate to not use my straightener every single day so like not damaging my hair so this has been a really good saving tool for my hair and because my hair is like super thin and it's not like thick or anything i don't need too much and it looks so beautiful when i see like beauty bird or yesenia on tiktok how they have like their big ass blowout like heatless curls and such voluminous hair i'm like listen i got thin ass hair okay like it might look it might look full and like voluminous but it's because i just washed it but listen this hair is thin as fuck and it keeps like thinning out and i keep losing hair so yeah these have been a really good game changer for my hair and i've loved i've been loving this a lot my faves are like a little bit randomized so we're like jumping in and out of makeup clothing and just random stuff so i apologize for makeup we have two concealers that i have been reaching for this past month as you all know the sephora savings event was in april so i am kind of cheating but i cannot put this concealer down and i'm wearing her today this is the say concealer this is the say slip tint concealer in the shade 12 i really really like this concealer she's more of like that hydrating kind of concealer so if you're not into like a hydrating kind of concealer this might not be for you it might be a little bit too creamy but i actually like to put it on in here and there and i'll wait like maybe a minute or two just kind of let that dry a little bit and blend it out and it just it's so beautiful it's so beautiful it creases a little bit obviously you cannot like get away with that you know we just have fine lines like as we age so i do get a little bit of creasing but i find that this has actually helped look the same as i applied it in the morning if that makes sense so really been enjoying that since the sephora sale and then another concealer that has also been in rotation for the past month of april is my dior backstage flash perfecting concealer in the shade 3w you can see she's pretty well loved again another concealer that has been my favorite i'm also trying to kind of use my products very very consistently we're not gonna be like this young again so we gotta put on the makeup whatever you want to do you know what i mean so this has been my go-to as of lately you guys know how i feel about this i absolutely love it my only downfall with this one is the packaging because it gets so messy and dirty here like i just feel like i'm losing so much product each time but i don't know how to avoid that it just kind of just happens but yeah, I've really been enjoying those two concealers. And then these two products, you have seen me wear them in pretty much all my videos, I want to say. But these two rings have been my favorite. We have a more checkered one, and this is like an evil eye one. This checkered one is a size 8. This is from Amazon. And then this evil eye one is from Shein, and she is a size 7, which I should have got this one in a size 8, but... I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, maybe there's a difference, but no. She's still kind of big on my finger, as you can kind of see there. So she lives on my middle finger. Sometimes I'll put it on my thumb. I really want it to have like, this is what I was kind of going for, but it's still a little bit too big for my thumb. So yeah, I will link it down below this one. And if I find this one, I'll also link it down below from Shein okay and we have two perfumes that i have been really enjoying this past month and one of them was gifted from a friend so this is the Burberry goddess perfume and she smells like a goddess i'm a very sweet floral type of person when it comes to scents so when i got this i was like oh my god she just smells like elegance you know like if you're going to a really nice dinner date night kind of like black dress heels like a little blazer like this is that type of vibe you know what i mean so i'm not really great at describing scents so i apologize i'll put the notes on here from like sephora's website or something but 
so good so good that we have used like that much of it and i think i'm gonna purchase a full size of this one once i'm done with this but this has been really good because i can use this for travel but i feel like i'm gonna go through this like within the next couple months the perfume also cheating from the sephora sale is a kayali yum pistachio gelato number 33 another favorite really nice and you would think like pistachio is like overwhelming but it's actually not it's just like a very like sexy at least to me this a sexy sweet sultry vibe you know i don't know it just again i'll put the notes on here because i'm not the best at describing it so yeah these have been like my go-to for this past month of april this is cheating from my birthday so since march 29 i have been using this like pretty much on my day-to-day -day basis for work this is a summer fridays skin tint in the shade five now this is a very light coverage this is for the days that like i literally wake up with 20 minutes to giving myself getting ready for work like i don't want to look dead but i don't want to look like unapproachable i guess you could say or like you know like you just don't want to look flat and like you know so this is like my savior for those days when i'm just like i just need a little bit of a snoozer i'll just put this on if i'm lucky put on some brows and for sure mascara and i'm out the door and i feel like i've gone through it super quickly and granted there's only like one fluid ounce of it but i just feel like i've already gone through it so fast which is crazy i want to share with you my shoes that i've been loving for this past month of april my platform chucks for this month have been my savior i've been using these guys for weddings it just kind of helps give me a little bit of a casual a business casual kind of elevated look i'll wear jeans i mean if you see my vlogs you kind of see what i go for but i wear my jeans and then my chucks sometimes i'll throw on the blazer sometimes i won't just depending how i'm feeling that day but these have been super comfy especially being on my feet all day it did take some time to break into but they have been super comfy even going like to weddings and stuff so yeah i'm actually wearing my dark wash of these pants i got from h&m and these are like the mom straight jean pants if you will you know that style is like kind of going in right now like the dad shoes with like the mom pants like the straight pants so these have been from h&m i'll see if i can find them below but i think it was like maybe 30 bucks 35 at most and i have a size 10 but yeah, these have been super comfy and if you know, I am a 4'11 girly and jeans are really hard to come by. Number one, I always have to tailor them or I have to, you know, just get the right size for my height and just, you know, pray that it works. But sometimes I'm, sometimes I have good luck finding them, sometimes I don't. And thankfully, these two pair of jeans are like, they're so good. They're so good. They're so comfy. They go with a lot of like my casual kind of days and my days off and stuff. So I've been reaching for these a lot in conjunction with my Target pants that you all see on my makeup vlogs all the time. They're just so comfortable. They're like my go-to. Yeah, just to wrap up on everything, that is it that I have to share with you for my favorites for April. Again, I apologize. It's like super late. I have been working like crazy and... It just kind of got the best of me that I was getting like super like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do any, you know, it's just like I need a low time type of situation. So that is all. It was so nice for you to be here with me today and I will see you all in the next video. Toodles.